Welcome, Virgo. Thank you for tuning in to your horoscope for November 23rd, 2023, on your channel, Zodiac Attraction. Discover what the future holds for you in terms of finances, lucky numbers, love, health, work, family, compatibility, and favorite color. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on daily updates. Get ready to explore your destiny. Let's get started. Hello Virgo, welcome. Today's message revolves around resisting the temptation to control every outcome and, instead, focusing on personal growth, expansion, and learning. The significance of making authentic decisions based on personal needs and development is highlighted, encouraging individuals to steer clear of external influences or the desire to please others. The key is to tune into the energetic vibration of abundance by prioritizing joy, satisfaction, and happiness through self-awareness and personal progress. It is advised to reassess and reframe personal narratives, learning from past experiences and overcoming challenges. The emphasis is on becoming the person one aspires to be, recognizing that the past doesn't define identity but provides opportunities for growth and inspiration. The angelic message suggests letting go of the burdens of the past, retaining only the lessons and love. It encourages viewing challenges as opportunities for growth and inspiration, rather than allowing them to define one's identity. Trust your intuition and the guidance of your spiritual companions, who are always there for you. A bittersweet yet healing energy finds you this morning, dear Virgo, as the Aries moon aligns with Chiron in your solar eighth house. This cosmic climate will illuminate what is not working in your life, gently nudging you to let go and move on. Unfortunately, a harsh opposition to Venus could bring out your stubborn nature, causing you to question if you're ready to release that which does not serve you. Connect with your emotions this evening when Luna blows a kiss to Mercury, offering clarity when you take time to nurture yourself from the comfort of home. Events have aligned themselves in such a way that your confidence has taken quite a beating. It will be difficult to conclude any task happily and in a satisfied manner today. You may also come in contact with someone whose negative comments can give rise to a feeling of despondency. Remember that this is a temporary phase and you will soon get your confidence back. A tough situation has been bringing you down, but if you look hard enough, you'll be able to find some levity in it. Humor has the power to heal. Light-hearted banter can also restore perspective and help build rapport with a new group of like-minded people. Perspective is everything, Virgo, so nab your friend with the great sense of humor and turn this melodrama into a comedy act. With a Sun-Saturn square early today, you can feel like someone is putting a damper on your plans or is overly critical, dear Virgo. Try not to take things too much to heart, but do aim to work on patching up areas where you feel a little too vulnerable. This strategy can help strengthen you when Saturn is putting the pressure on you in the future. There may be a previously neglected area of your life that now seems necessary to revisit. Paring things down will allow you to move forward more quickly, eventually, but things may feel slow and long just for now, so take it easy. It's important to be humble with Saturn in a challenging aspect to the Sun, and both bodies in challenging relationship to your sign. Life is unlikely to feel quite so serious later today, and you may find some wonderfully relaxing things to do. You're far less hung up on problem areas. Emotional cleansing can come via honest conversations about intimate matters. Alternatively, you might channel your passion into a satisfying project. Remember, life is a continuous journey of learning. Enjoy the process of becoming the best version of yourself. Wishing you a day filled with light and growth. Today's tarot reading for your sign. Card of the day, Five of Cups. Interpretation. Today, Virgo, the energy of the Five of Cups suggests that you might find yourself focused on what has been lost or past disappointments. Certain situations or relationships may not have turned out as expected, creating a sense of regret or nostalgia. The card urges you to acknowledge these emotions but also not to lose sight of the opportunities and blessings still surrounding you. Current Situation, Four of Swords and King of Cups. 
The combination of these cards indicates that, in your current situation, you may be going through a period of reflection and rest. The Four of Swords suggests the need to take some time to recover, while the King of Cups points out that your emotions and personal relationships may be key elements in your healing process. It's a time to balance logic with compassion. Transition and Change The Tower, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles. The presence of the tower indicates that you may be facing significant changes today. There might be a sense of chaos or disorder, but it's crucial to remember that these changes are meant to open new opportunities. The Four of Pentacles suggests that you may feel resistance to change, especially in financial terms. However, the Ace of Pentacles signals a promising new beginning, and the Knight of Swords indicates that action and resolution are crucial. The Page of Pentacles suggests that you will receive guidance or practical support. Challenges and Emotional Attachments, Justice, Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles. The presence of justice indicates the possibility of legal matters or significant decisions. The Knight of Swords suggests the need to approach challenges with a clear and logical mind, taking decisive action. The Page of Pentacles highlights the importance of receiving practical help, possibly from someone you already know. It's essential to free yourself from emotional attachments of the past to move forward. Spiritual Connection and Progress, The Lovers The Lovers card emphasizes the importance of spiritual connections and decision-making based on personal growth. Today is a day to break free from the ties of the past, embrace new opportunities, and move toward a future more aligned with your true self. Acknowledge the lessons learned and choose the path that leads to greater harmony and authenticity. Remember, these interpretations are general and symbolic. You can apply them to specific situations in your life for a deeper understanding. Have a day full of reflection and positivity, Virgo. The tarot gives you your lucky number. Your lucky numbers for November 23rd are 2, 50, 1, 45, 3, 16. Now we will tell you how it will go with money and luck, but first remember to give us a like, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications, this helps us a lot and so you never miss your daily reading. Money and luck. What do you want to focus on, Virgo? There are conflicting arrangements between your work and your personal life when the Sun in Sagittarius squares Saturn in Pisces. On one hand, you may have to complete certain contracts or objectives due to work constraints. On the other hand, you may feel motivated to accomplish your personal goals and objectives. Although the square will amplify tension between your arrangements, it could also push you to do something about it. Figure out what you can adjust or move around to focus on everything without burning yourself out. New projects are likely to lead to extra expenses. However, you have a very set plan in mind and a determination to see things through. Having everything in order in your material world is very important to you and has always been. However, one of your greatest lessons has been to learn that not everything is in your control in this area. It has not been the easiest lesson to learn. But the more you learn it the more you will be able to move forward with the greater peace of mind. Stay focused on your projects and go with what your instinct tells you. The outcome will be worthwhile. Daily Love One of the most difficult periods of the year is here to face you, Virgo. This is because the mighty sun, the brightest luminary in our sky, continues his path through your solar fourth house of home, family, and domesticity. I see Saturn stands across the sky from you in your solar seventh house of partnerships and will hiss at the sun, which means that a relationship, and family matters, could see tragedy, hardship, or pain crop up. Do your best to listen to your kindred and face what comes up. Depression, sorrow, and bad news could be around every corner. Is it easy for you to be in relationship to others? Are you skilled in your diplomacy skills that are a necessary pillar in any healthy relationship? The moon is in Aries and in your 8th house. It is important that you know how to compromise in your romantic partnerships, 
so often relationships fail because one side is not willing to hear the other one out or accommodate the other's needs. On the other hand, it could be the opposite case for you, where you give too much to the other and neglect yourself in the process. This would be a great time for you to practice finding the balance between those two ways of being. Reciprocity is something crucial to make sure that you have in your relationships. At work. Things may not be working out just as you planned in the work front, but you must not become aggressive due to this reason. That can actually waste the whole effort. Progress at work will require a lot of patience now something that does not come easily to you. Someone less talented than you may come to possess greater power, but it will be in your own best interest not to tangle with this person now. Bring your attention to your business partnerships. What's the nature of your relationships with those whom you work with? Today the moon is in Aries and in your 8th house. Can you afford to compromise more in your interactions with others? A necessary ingredient to achieving what you want in your career is working alongside others. And you can't make that happen if you want everything to go your way. Also, maybe it's the opposite way around for you, do you tend to compromise too much, giving the other person precedence over yourself? Find the balance between those essential traits. Health. If you drive some vehicle, be cautious and drive carefully. Watch out your driving and be defensive while on the road. Minor accident is indicated but if you pay attention it can be avoided. Be conscious of turns and speed breakers. Slow down your vehicle. Also, today do not loiter outside without any work. Finish your work and relax at home. This planetary energy may cause frustration, especially when it comes to your thoughts, Virgo. You may need to focus on self-care to promote positivity and good vibrations. Take some time to care for yourself with exercise and gratitude this morning. Selenite is an emotionally soothing stone that will help you release any negativity or tension today. Hold a piece of selenite in your left hand while meditating to set your intentions for a positive day. Brown rice is filling, and it contains fiber, vitamin B1, and magnesium. Try adding a side of brown rice to a delicious chicken dish for a healthy meal that will leave you feeling satisfied. Family and Friends the planetary positions may have resulted in turmoil at the relationship front yesterday, but today, things are likely to settle down. You will be in a calmer frame of mind and will be able to bring about reconciliation even though the relationship is probably going to be strained after the row yesterday. It is the time to renew your love and commitment towards each other. It might be extremely hard to tell how you feel about a person today, Virgo, that's not to say you don't value them or trust them, but today the lines aren't exactly clearly defined in the sand at our feet. The intuitive moon is zipping along through dreamy Aries and your 8th house of one-on-one -on -one relationships, and she'll link up at the exact same degree with dreamy Neptune. Neptune tends to cast a rosy glow wherever it goes, and sometimes this can be a good thing and bring out the romance in a situation, and sometimes it can be a bad thing and only create more confusion rather than clarity. Since this angle rather falls between good and bad, conjunctions are like double-edged swords, they can go either way, but they are still powerful regardless, try to keep your wits about you and don't let anyone force you into anything you don't want to do. Compatibility At work Pisces In love Taurus In luck Aries Your lucky color today Orange We love that you get to this part of the video, don't forget to subscribe, like it and leave us your comments, at Zodiac Attraction we always read them and see you tomorrow, have a nice day.